Hello, and welcome to Defenders of Time. My name is Jordan, and I am a tester at Four Lights. And today, I will be narrating this walkthrough on our simplest map called Delta Centauri. So let's go ahead and hit the ground running and lay out a maze for the creeps. You will see the path light altar. Do not let that intimidate you. The creatures are just changing their course. You can build along the paths like most tower defense games have you do, but if you do that here, well, you're going to have a very brief match. Now, I'm going to cut up this video a bit, so occasionally I'm going to skip ahead. Just like that. And since we are at the tech tree, let's go ahead and get a blue, which slows down enemies. Yes, that looks rather acceptable. Let's add another. And that floating X there means placing a tower there to block the creeps. I cannot build there because we want the creeps to run through our maze and die. Nothing morbid about that at all. Now we have purple, which I like to have because it hits several creeps and it's good against fly. Let's fast forward a bit. Awesome, I have green and black now. And since they are sending me armor, black is the perfect choice. And those new lines in the air are the flying paths, which can be toggled with the F key. Now we have white, which reveals creatures with stealth, but it has another feature. It drags flying creatures closer with technology. More gravity. And speaking of air, here they come. Luckily, black is also fairly good against air. And while we're at it, let's extend our maze. Excellent. Now I have all the base tech 1s and even a couple tech 2s, and a lot of armor on the way. So let's go ahead and upgrade black to deal with that. And also, one of my favorites, the line attack purple. Now, let's upgrade green, since that is great at dealing with clumps of enemies. While we're at it, let's continue our maze, because there are lots of them coming. Since there are so many up enemies, let's upgrade blue even further, and add a line slow to really impede their progress. Line towers can only fire in one direction and can't hit air. But, put a purple and a blue line tower together and you get an awesome corridor of damage. Feeling miserous? Impatient even? Satisfy your greed with our gold-plated Tech 3 towers. The gold plating on the towers indicate that they are on their final form, Tech 3. Wait a second. What happened to my health? Oh, it's going down. Is this the end of the faceless narrator? Yep. Here it is, the end. Right here. Three, two, one. Yep. That's game. But look at that. Wave 26. Wait a second. A silver medal? Oh, that's just gold's unwanted brother. Well, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. There will be more coming soon, and I hope you had fun.